Top of the morning to you. Welcome to another beer review. And in this one, we've got a beer which I've always wanted to try and never have done until now. We're off to Ireland, we're off to O'Hara's, and we've got a Nitro Irish Stout from them, clogging in at 4.3% ABV. There you go. Now, the nearest I've got to having anything from O'Hara's stout wise was the M&S, Marks and Spencer's stout. Apparently that was brewed by O'Hara's, but when it comes to the Nitro one, never had it. And I should have a can of Guinness here to compare, but <laughs> never mind. It's a one-off review. Let's give it a go, shall we? This was picked up from the Bear and Bottle. The Bear and Bottle in Coxo. Let's whack it in and see what it does. I love pouring these. There she is. There she is. I love pouring them. It's like pulling a ring of a hand grenade. It's kind of like you just got to get it in there. <laughs> you just got to get it in there. Look at that. Looks absolutely cracking. Let's give that time to settle like you do. Yep, it's doing it. I can see there is, there is a slight difference in actually this and a Guinness because that is not as white. The head's not as white as a Guinness for starters. But no, it looks a belter. So stick up to the light. You can see slightly through it, so it's not jet, jet black. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, espresso coffee note there for me. Straight off the bat. Not much of a roast aroma. It's very coffee-like. It's Italian espresso type of thing going on. But I'm going to go in. Cheers, everyone. Like with a lot of nitro beers for me, it's all down to the the feather like mouthfeel and the look. I mean, these two factors do you sacrifice the taste for it? I think. For me, you know, the nitro side, for me, they've never really been big tasting beers, nitro beers for me. They've, it's always been down on, definitely. I mean, it looks gorgeous. I mean, it's always been down to the curb appeal. Um, and the, the feather like, marshmallow even like, mouthfeel taste wise you get a bitter coffee it's not really a pronounced coffee it's not a strong coffee it's just there it's just a bitter coffee a hint of roastness um it feels that it has a little bit more depth to its taste than a Guinness. Um, when I've had a Guinness draft, it's very, very thin. It's 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 very one way. It's 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 got like a hint of flavour here and there, and a thinness. With this, you're getting everything what you expect from a nitro, with a hint of cream as well, and an espresso coffee. Do I like it? I actually think it's not bad. 4.3 is surprisingly good because I'm not getting any thin thinness in the mouthfeel, which I would get with a Guinness. It's not there. It's not there. It's thin, but it's not thread thin. It's it there's a thinness, but it's not something which overtakes everything else. It's it's just a a 
slight feel of thinness. Um, it's good. It's good. It's really nice. Um, for me, I think it is definitely one to revisit with a Guinness next door for sure. Um, I definitely prefer it over the Guinness. Got more depth of flavour to it than the Guinness. And it's very, very enjoyable. I like this one. It's pretty, pretty decent. One more for the road. Mm. I'm not bored with it. I'm not picking up any wateriness as such. There's maybe a hint there, but... It's not, like I say, like a Guinness. It's not overbearing. Boys and girls, O'Hara's Irish Nitro Irish Stout, that is going to go in there because I think that is a little cracker for what it is. Yeah, not bad at all. Thank you very much. Big thumbs up. Big JB thumbs up for that one. I like that. Um, thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Put them in the comments. See you on my next one. Bip, bip.